turned 30 recently. I am 30 years old. I am so pumped to be 30 years old. Thank you, Guy Clapp, and you get me. <laughs> All these 22-year-olds keep, like, they see me and they look sad inside. I'm like, you don't even get a 22. Like, I just want to be old my whole life. People have always told me, they, they call me an old soul, which I think just means I'm bad at parties. <laughs> and often dealing with depression. But, uh, <laughs> I think I would, I would, I was, I'm gonna be real good if I ever make it to old age. I mean, I, I'm hitting 30, it looks like the world's pretty much falling apart, which, I mean, I'm psyched for I really got the worst of it out of the way. I'm looking on an upward trend. I think a lot of people would be bummed out to get clipped right here, but me, an alien archaeologist, would just come down and be like, oh, this big one actually was getting his shit together. That was, look at him. 30 years old, man. I don't know. I always wanted to be an old person because I figured it would be chill, man. You just get to hang out with your friends, eat jello, all your drugs are medicinal, like it's just it's great. But I, I read all these news articles and it's like 40 is the new 30. 50 is the new 30. I saw one that said 60 is the new 30. I was like, man, I gotta be 30 for 30 years. That's too much 30 for me. Be older and old people are getting more intense. Like I can't handle that shit. I just want to be in a rocking chair drinking whiskey, yelling at people. Like that's all these old people. I saw an article: hundred-year-old man sets record for hundred-meter dash. It's like, all right, dude, but didn't you set a record just by waking up this morning? <laughs> Eighty-year-old woman runs a marathon. Like, why are you? Possibly running from you outlived all your natural predators. <laughs> I go to a gym. There's a, the buffest dude in my gym is the oldest man there. It's kind of like it's weird looking, but you respect it. You know, like he's just ripped, and I work so hard, and I kind of get it because when the Grim Reaper comes, that guy's gonna put him through a fucking wall. Just never get that guy. <laughs> I mean, this sounds weird. I've always, I've always enjoyed the idea of living in a retirement home. That's probably only me. But it seems cool. You get to hang out with everyone's your age, and they've lived an entire life, and you just get to reconnect and kind of talk about everything you've done with your years. And then I realize if I ever go to a retirement home, it's going to be with people my age. I'm gonna have to live in a retirement home with a bunch of social media influencers, <laughs> other millennials, which I love you guys now, but I don't know if I can handle that at 90 years old, right? <laughs> Living with 18 dudes named Brandon? <laughs> I can't do a podcast every day. I run out of steam. It's just, it's gonna be insufferable. Everybody's just trying to relive their youth, just taking selfies of them eating kale pudding. <laughs> T-shirts that say things like hashtag wrinkle swag. <laughs> can't handle it. Can't handle it. They'll still have. They'll like. They'll have to revamp online dating because our generation loves online dating so much. But they'll gotta make a different one for us. We can't stay on Tinder. They'll just make like an older, sadder version called like Fizzle. <laughs> and everyone's thumbs are gonna be destroyed from swiping their entire lives. Women left, men right, you know how it goes. <laughs> You'll hear when anyone's using it, because they'll just be like, ah! Ow! I shouldn't swipe left anymore, but he says he's six feet tall and not with that osteoporosis. He's <laughs> All people laugh harder at that joke. <laughs>